Guys, welcome back to my uh, channel. I'm Shivan Tamang, and in this video, guys, we're gonna be reacting to the final segment of today's Miss Universe thing. This is my national costume, so let's go. Before that, if you're not watching my reaction to swimsuit and evening round, I've already posted it. Go check that out. And uh, yeah, if you're gonna follow me on Instagram, my Instagram handle is right over here. Now, then, until you guys, let's just get in this reaction. Freedom, strength, and glow. It's never a bad. Dress like your flag in Albania. But it was okay. So she went with this one instead. Aye. She couldn't nail it, but still managed to nail it. Angola. Aye. Combined embroidery with crystal rhinestone, seeds, and fringe in back. The waterfall is represented by synthetic bows. She's having a ball as a large waterfall. Our battle history. <laughs> this elegant refugee family is all too familiar. The right to live. The design shows the resilience and strength of her people, and the white carpet throughout is a call for a peace. Boran is a strong contender, okay? Let's be real here. Being covered in gold never gets old. Or Bahrain. Much light to make yourself visible. Oh, there's light. Right. Without much light, it's Belgium. The only Jaguar reserve in the world. Located in the Lucius rainforest of Ozi. It's a reminder of the beautiful natural resources found in the Central American nation. Those rainforests reserve. The only Jaguar reserve in Belize. Okay. Speaking of possibility in the world. The world moves fast, so she's not stuck in the past. Bhutan. Maria's costume features silver, plating, and coins, paying homage to the Sriji. If you love precious metal, you might want to settle in Bolivia. is half fish, half woman. The pearl on her head is a symbol of the wealth and diversity of Brazil's marine ecosystem. From head to toe, this costume is an ode to Brazilian folklore and faith. Don't you wish you were half fish like Brazil? That was a nice coat. Oh, beautiful! Okay, Brazil. In the center, she looks like the leader of every white theater. <laughs> Modernized white northern costume made of neoprene and carries with her a basket of red roses. There is always a reason to dress up for the season in Bulgaria. Ooh, Cambodia bringing it in. Cambodia. This contemporary design combines prehistoric art of the Fanon and Agnard era. Based on Buddhist faith, this float represents a goddess who educates people to love humans, animals, and nature. The prehistoric art sets her apart. Cambodia. That was beautiful. Oh, wow. Cameroon. Inspired by her country in, in Central Africa, this costume's basket represents the nation's agricultural movement. The necklace features Mount Cameroon, a volcano, a volcano known as the Mountain of the Gods. The crown features her country map and flag colors. She takes no vacation from... It's okay to enjoy the village with Canada. Okay. Moana is indigenous to the Cayman Islands and represents the resilience of the island people. This resurgent lizard is a bit of a wizard, Cayman Island. This was inspired by Chile's Atacama Desert. Once a year, the driest desert in the world is filled with flowers, a rare phenomenon that attracts thousands of tourists. The costume includes multiple flowers and a headdress representing the rising sun. The desert is dry, but her flowers grow high. 
It doesn't, doesn't it look so royal? I like it. It was representing yin and yang, two opposite principles in nature. The former feminine, the latter masculine. It is beautiful. She went with red. Instead, it is China. She's emerged from the ashes, adorned in 1,100 diversity crystals and decorated with these and features. The beauty and the sun are second to the land in Colombia. Also features a recycled corset and wings as a way to protest against disposable fashion. She prefers to be a recycled bird, Costa Rica. What is she doing with her head like this? this? <laughs> Idol solution for Croatia. Croatia, ooh. Croatia has been really strong too. A woman with a key role in her <coughs> fishing industry. Not only is she the one who prepares the fishing net, she cleans the catch and gets it ready to sell. This delegate is ready to head into town with a basket of fish on her head and by her side. If you're after fish, she'll bring your wish in Curacao. Sarah has been transformed into a goddess, based on the worker of this master of art in Nobu. Being painted with flowers gives her goddess-like power. The importance of birds in Dominican culture. Ah, the feathers could have been attached rather than, you know, catching in hands because it doesn't look like wings at all. It looks like something like a fan. Kailas in Tiramani, a religious ceremony celebrating the first day of the new year in the Inca calendar and the Incan Sunday. The transparent dress features feathers and wine stones. It is your history of currency. For a long time, cocoa was used and then the cologne until it was replaced by the U.S. dollar. In 2021, El Salvador became the first country in the world to use Bitcoin as legal tender. You don't need a sash to walk around dressed as cash like El Salvador. This costume was made from a cocoa sash. Oh shit! Maybe you danced a little bit way too much, girl. symbolizes the multiple faces of what it means to be a woman in common. Clear. <laughs> Lend a hand by protecting land in the end of the monarchy. Feathers from head to toe represent the country's national flag, the roaster. Things got real when the storm got the bestial in France. Oh, Germany. National costume? This national costume was inspired by German fashion designer Karl Lagerfeld. Okay. Chanel's creative director was an advocate for animal rights, just like this delegate. The piece recreates Lagerfeld's look with an endless number of Swarovski crystals. Is an elephant like she can give curse with that stick on her hand. Golden armor, a ball gown, and a twinning, depicting the bravery displayed by Ghana's first and only known female war leader. Oh, if that's why. Someone to lead. Wife and role model. All hail the queen, one of the greatest we've seen in Great Britain. Oh. That was a tribute to the queen. Something nice. The costume depicts the goddess Hera. You'll notice Greek mythology. The light is glowing out of her chest. Oh, the light went off. So amazing, you'll catch yourself gazing at Greece. This national costume is an ode to Guatemala. At the foundation, it features the majestic pyramid El Gran Jaguar and the Mayan calendar. You'll also notice the jade necklace and the... Just look at the amount of effort that has been put, right? The symbol of Mayan culture. <coughs> the presentation of the country's natural bounty, vibrancy, and beauty. Their national tree, the royal palm, is a symbol of Haiti's political independence. Why Brandon tree, like a royal palm tree, is Haiti. All Central American countries united. This suit represents strength and empowerment. 
Fighting for unity when given the opportunity, Pandora. Act now for a better future. She's taking a stand to stick up for her land. Iceland! Ancient Romans referred to India as the Golden Bird, symbolizing the country's vast wealth. This, myth this mythical being was the inspiration. I love the le le Ooh, that's Lehenga, right? <laughs> Isn't it? India's true wealth lies in its deep spirituality and essence of unity and diversity. Looking vivid and bold as a bird made of gold, India! Mm -hmm. Impressive. Oh, Indonesia, let's go. Is that ship? Are they rhyming every other words over there? <coughs> this is, called is she, is she is seeing what is ahead of her? When a woman gets married, a sad house is left behind. No food is prepared for three days, that song play, and a red handkerchief is placed on the daughter's face. The kerchief turns red when a woman gets wed in Kosovo. Interesting. She delegates inner beauty and peace. She walks with pride as a white swan pride. Kazakhstan. Featuring tribal fabrics and silk patterns, at the center of it all is the Lao flag. She jumps through hoops to wrap. The bodysuit is made of metal, characterizing a female warrior who believes in bringing strength to a war torn country. It's refreshing to see. Oh, she's not doing anything. She's just standing there, girl. What are you doing? Recycled items. A reminder to be kind to the environment. Wow. Is that really? She cares about her. Malaysia. Another currency one. We've seen that in... And I forgot. There was one country. Right? The Bitcoin one. Sophisticated crystals and the tropical flair of Mauritius's national flower. If you enjoy France, you might want to glance at Mauritius. I guess next is my con. No, 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 it's not. Mexico. Mexico. Ooh. Serenada Mexicana is inspired by the Charo suit, a style of dress originated in Mexico. The costume is a mermaid top made of chandelier with black embroidered sequins. A wide brim hat and short jacket complete the look. It's a very nice it's one. A shower suit and a harrow to boot. It's Mexico. She's the one to beat, as I've already said. Flower. It's hard not to notice this glamorous lotus. Myanmar. What is she doing? Oh! It's showing that whatever process, I guess, seeming art. And can be found on the country's coat of arms. Colors used in this costume symbolize resources distributed in Namibia, such as copper and gold. Looking regal, 
as her own country's eagle, Namibia. Okay, it's my country now. Ooh! That's the goddess of our country. Hindu, Hinduism. The dynamic feminine principle that is often personified as a goddess. It reminds us of our own strength and reiterates the fact that each woman is a boundless source of energy. More expression, yes. You're not wrong. If you think she's strong, Nepal. I wish they would have made Tiger along with it as well because that's the proper representation it would be. You know, and it would look more grand. But I loved it. Obviously, it's my country. <laughs> The Bell performance this year has been a lot better, a lot, lot, lot better than last year. Hi, by a Dutch street called Stu Waffle. Cookies? A waffle. Cookie with caramel is very popular in the Netherlands. The hash is a cup of tea which helps the Stu Waffle melt, making it even more delicious. It's great when you're stirred. It's also a dessert. Power is a symbol of patriotism and the struggle that reflects female empowerment. With grace and power, she's a flag and a flower, Nicaragua. This look represents Ugo Masquerade and embodies the mannerism and significance of Ugo Bird. This African eagle is highly respected. Girl beauty. This outfit, made from repurposed wedding dresses, symbolizes the Norwegian fjords in winter season. So it reminds me very much of that uh, Emily, uh, Emily in Paris character, uh, I forgot her name. But, you know, do you guys know if you've watched the show? It reminds me of that. Painting is a tradition of indigenous people, and the heart on the back symbolizes love for all people who visit the country. For those keeping track, she has a heart on her back. Homage to the Paraguay flag, the only one in the world that has two national coats of arms. The star in front represents hope, and the lion in back symbolizes bravery. It's okay to brag when you've got a great flag like Paraguay. Nice. <clears throat> with recycled materials. Oh, what a sight to be recycled and bright like Peru. Oh wow, is she a wonder? Darna, 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 Darna. Oh God, I've reacted to the show, I've reacted to the trailer. So yeah, I know, I knew. I kind of felt like Darna, but then also I was like, no Wonder Woman, it could not be because Darna is Philippines. <laughs> Oh yeah. That's Darna. Ooh, Zindi Leon is gonna be proud. Have no fear, cause Darna is here in the Philippines. The Polish national colors. The white fabric, meaning loyalty and honor, is intertwined with red poppies. Red. This costume celebrates St. Peter's Night, a Portuguese summer festival. In the city where Telmo was born, this look was considered mainstream from the 1920s through the 60s. None of the saints would have any complaints about Portugal. She looks like a superhero. The Telesponic was the largest in the world until 2016. The costume celebrates the scientific community. They literally... How did they do that? <coughs> because I've never really seen something like this before. Whoa. This national costume celebrates Russia's royal era and features a velvet dress decorated with precious stones and pearls, plus a crown of the Russian Empire. The look was created in collaboration with the Hermitage State Museum. Flowers complete the look. <coughs> We could spend hours talking about the flowers with St. Lucia. Such less. Such old. Behold the Payanke, a tropical bird found in Seychelles. The name means straw in the tail, a reference to its prominent tail streamers. This delicate country is working hard to protect the species as their own ecology. We present the national flower of Singapore, the Vanda Miss Joachim Orchid. 
the five petals of the orchid composed unmix unmistakable silhouette of the island of Paris's home country. She would never settle for just mission of Nadavi's strong South African heritage. The costume was made using vibrant colors reflective of a country's nation rainbow. The wings showcase light and represent a century of African women in the world. I am Africa. She couldn't hide her national pride. South Again. Africa. Doesn't know that sounds so cringe to me. She couldn't hide her national pride. which is represented by colored curls. The shoulders are an ode to cocoa leaves without which the chocolate would never exist. If you're a local for cocoa, check out Switzerland. Thailand. This look was inspired by one of the seven goddess daughters who's part of a festival celebrating Thailand's New Year. The dress is a hand it looks very fabric, pretty though, right? by a silver bowl <coughs> like the one used to splash water during the festival. I bet this goddess daughter will drink Miss Universe water, Thailand! <laughs> what? In 1973, the, the islands of Bahamas gained independence. On that night, a flag was raised into the Bahamian sky, <coughs> and the historic Clifford Park was surrounded by fireworks. Tonight, this delegate celebrates 50 years. It was born out of necessity, mockery, pride, and revolution. It's actually very impressive. And for, behold, this educated jester wearing an embellished golden gown of layered strips of cloth. If you seek celebration, then head to her nation, Trinidad and Tobago. Right, we design come from recycled yarns and fabrics. The artists use the needle lace technique and a craft unique to Turkey. Turning trash into treasure is always a pleasure in Turkey. The warrior of life protects her country like Archangel Michael. Wow. The guardian of soldiers and considered to be the patron of kids, the capital city. This that was really impressive. Will help in their fight, you <laughs> Aragon. This costume is an ode to Kendall Bay, a style of music that originated in Argoy among the descendants of liberated African slaves. It represents the diversity of carnival, something that brings everyone together. When wow. When Americans stepped on the moon in 1969, it was one small step for man. Today, <laughs> women are more involved as leaders in returning the U.S. to the moon. This delegate is representing NASA's Johnson Space Center in her hometown of Houston. Pretty soon, she'll be on the moon, USA! A really nice one. Just look at it, the material they're representing. This costume draws inspiration from the burgundy uniform used by at least to represent Venezuela and in international tour tournaments. At least have worn the color as a message that Venezuelan blood runs through their wings. Please kick the ball. I would love to see that. Really good. It's time for the last one. Oh, Vietnam. Vietnam! This costume was inspired by the image of a long-standing handicraft village located in the south of Vietnam. Uh, associated with patriotic traditions and full of vitality, it's made entirely from a natural and environmentally friendly material. This earth-friendly look is top-notch in our book, Vietnam.
All right, guys, I guess that would be up for this video, guys. That was the national costume. And everybody's late. Everybody put forward their, you know, like a best foot. And I guess everybody was really great, you know. I, I don't think there was anyone which didn't really do good, but everybody was great. For me, which stood out to me personally, in my personal opinion, were Brazil, Guatemala, Indonesia, Philippines, Puerto Rico, Trinidad and T Tobago, uh, Ukraine was good, USA, India, Cambodia, Laos, and my own country, Nepal. It was very close to my heart. So, <coughs> but if I have to choose one, it's actually very, you know, like difficult. Honestly, because there was no uh, national costume that was like, oh my god, this is impossible or some, something like that, which I had faced in Miss Grand International. But yeah, everybody were good. Let me know which was your favorite national costume in the comment section. And I'll meet you guys in the next reaction video.